Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a City. It's the long awaited for episode 150. If you're new to the channel, if you're new to the series, we do a world tour on this series every 25 episodes. And I've been really excited to do it this time because we've done so much in the last 25 episodes. It's been absolutely crazy. What we're going to do is we're going to go through the real Minecraft city world first. We're going to look at all the buildings, have a sort of a quick glance at them. Well, we can't spend too much time because there's so much of them and I'm pretty sure this episode is going to be quite long as it is but once we've done that we're then going to go and have a quick look at the overviewer version of the map as well which looks absolutely stunning because I've already seen it and you guys do not want to miss out on that if you don't know what that is it's like a program that allows you to see your whole Minecraft world in one go it looks absolutely sick so that'll be at the end of the video I love these boats these boats are absolutely great so anyway let's start off let's uh, break the boat Let's uh, break the boat, somehow. Break the boat. <laughs> we'll start over on the very west side of the island here, which is a private island just off the west coast. Okay, we've got the hotel there. Uh, this was its own series. This wasn't actually done in the city series, but because it's in the city world, I always like to cover it anyway. This was a actual island in the real world. It was actually for sale, I think, at the time of me building this. And we got actually really quite close. It didn't have a lighthouse in the background, but it did have a little farm. The house is built as a sort of somewhat replica to the house that was for sale on this little island in the shape. It had a little sort of wheaty field over here and a swimming pool. It looked absolutely sick. And it was quite weird because I had already recorded episode one of the series for this when I got sent through a picture on Twitter by someone saying, you should build this island with this house. And it was the same island, just a different picture of it. And I was like, that's crazy. How could both of us find that? Uh, but it turns out that it was for sale at the time, which is why the picture was sort of circulating around a bit a little bit. It was like for 50 million or something like that. You know, pocket money. Everybody can afford it. I only like that. It's actually got a full fitted out interior. We're not going to have time to go through all the interiors of the building. So we're just going to sort of have a, a look at the outside here. Uh, we've got the speedboat that I was just driving a minute ago. And our own little custom sailboat as well. Really, really nice. And I tell you what I like about this. It's a... It's a touch that not many people will appreciate, but I'm sure those of you that do really enjoy your building will. I, for some reason, love the look of these rocks at the back. We've got uh, sort of a andesite textured boulders, and then we mixed in some clay, some, what is it, just uh, white stained clay, I think it's called, in there. Uh, some little drooping leaves and some gravel, and it's a really, really nice sort of rock colouring. I really like that. I might use that a little bit more in the actual sort of mountainous area of our city, and just sort of put in some bolder formations around there, because it would look absolutely amazing. Moving across into the main island now, the west side of the island, first thing you're going to see is the giant hotel, the Amanda Hotel, uh, sent in by a subscriber or a viewer called Amanda. It was a really nice builder, so we thought a lot of these buildings very recently uh, as well have been sent in by a subscriber or through someone via Facebook or Twitter. So if you have any ideas of buildings that you want me to build in this series, just send them to me. My links to the social media should be in the description below. And if they're not, you can just find them on my channel page. There'll be some links up in the banner there. Uh, so yeah, just tweet me or send me a picture on Facebook and uh, I shall add it to the list. The list is very long, so don't be surprised if it takes a while to get round to your building. But I will try and build everything that is sent in as long as we've got room for it. We've got the KFC Uber here uh the this was probably one of the first buildings that we done to be honest uh, i would do a, a few little things differently now if i was to build this again we recently built a mcdonald's and i really really like the mcdonald's but one thing i do like about this in uh, this building is the interior i know i said i wasn't going to go in them but i really like them we made our own custom kfc um painting for the little city texture pack that we've got here oh and as an update to that uh we will there will be a world download in the description below as well as a texture pack download in the description below that'll get you as close to this world as you can possibly get at the moment uh but we don't have i don't obviously have links to all of the mods that i have installed uh, and i can't do like a mod pack download because that's copyright and illegal to do so you'd have to actually sort of download all the individual mods yourself uh, which could be really tricky because there was a lot of configurations that I had to do first 
this is like a high-end restaurant down here because this is sort of a very close to the beach i i wanted to have sort of all the restaurants uh you know the cinema that we built uh, last episode uh, all of that kind of stuff needs to be very much around this very public walk area this is going to be a very busy part of the city also got the police station here as well holding the guns i might show you some of those because i bet some of you i bet most of you in fact well some of you at least don't know that i've got like every npc all programmed ready to go for this city uh so i might show you that later on if i remember but yeah we've got a police station in there with some weapons and stuff that you can get hold of uh because we've got obviously vehicles we've got guns and all sorts that we can sort of commit crimes with this really really quite cool this is another restaurant ironically called pigs as it's next to the police station here uh but this is a it's gonna be like a like a carvery style restaurant a little bit high end still again you know we've got the kfc for your your normal people but a little bit more expensive a little bit more high end very dark you know we've got a wait to behind the uh counter here to book you in but yeah sort of a very very expensive uh style one the beach we've got some normal beach huts and lifeguard towers and stuff like that we also have a lifeguard helicopter up there as well if anybody actually uh, falls in or something the atom cinema i'm not going to go through this too much as we did spend the last two episodes building it i think this looks really really cool a little bit bright with the shaders on because of all of the uh, the beacons and the fluorescent lights and stuff like that but the shape of it i really really like very old school very fallout style We've got the uh, petrol station over here, opposite the Mine Mart uh, supermarket. They obviously are owned by the same company, hence the same colour palette. Uh, but yeah, we've got all, our, all of the fuel that you can fill up with uh, down here. And then the Mine Mart with the old trolley stations. I think we're using um, Hopper Mine Carts as our trolleys, which I think is really, really cool. That's a great little look because you can obviously push them along and everything like trolleys can. Over here, we've got our multi-story car park. A really, actually, it's strange to say, but it was a really fun thing to build this. When you think of a multi-story car park, you think of a, a really dull, boring place, or just somewhere where you park your car. But there's a lot of things that we really had to think about here. We had to think about the width of the cars to be able to get round all of these corners, the gradients of the ramps, the height of the ceiling and uh, yeah you can get all the way up and all the way down we've got little walkways for pedestrians uh, to be able to get up and down them all and then at the top we obviously had to do the old grand theft auto style uh ramp off the edge we have launched a few cars in the tar in, in the series time off the edge here and uh, landed on top of the uh, police station roof i think or something i think we actually ended up getting really really close i think we did once i know we ended up on a lamppost once but uh yeah uh let's go over to the pier first the pier actually has a little bit of work to do still on it surprisingly uh, i keep forgetting to do it but we've got an entrance in from the main city we've got an entrance in from the beach onto the pier here some really nice sort of double-ended street lights and the palm trees going down the middle we've got some more of these sort of fairground sort of huts to put in i want to put one in obviously there and there and down the other side all being different colors that would make a really nice sort of rainbow effect coming into it i've got a blueprint of a like a, i want an ice cream uh shop if you like on one end and like a souvenir shop or something on the other end it'll be a rounded cornered building though instead of like square it'll be like a like an oval shape We've got a roller coaster in the middle, and I think the guy actually is still going around here. I haven't been here for I don't know how many. Yeah, he is. I don't know how many episodes, but I have, or whenever I've come on, he has always been going around. I've never had to restart him. Very, very cool. Uh, and then we've got the, obviously, Ferris wheel on the other side as well. And then the middle here is like a little bit of a, uh, a show. I didn't really ever finish off the inside, but it's meant to be, meant to be like a little uh, pantomime in the middle here uh was there glass in here oh i never i never actually put the glass i'm sure i put the glass in here there's going to be glass going around there too yeah the pier still needs a little bit of work but i sort of i keep forgetting about it there's so much that i'm trying to sort of keep in my head they've got so much written down on my other monitor over there to do with this series it's crazy it's it's really really crazy this episode is going to be a long episode buckle in guys buckle in for the long episode this is a nightclub uh obviously we've got the doorman on the outside we'll have a quick look on the inside here but yeah disco style floor i forgot how cool this place was the various place he drinks down on and then upstairs is the vip area the shade is like make these uh furniture flicker uh it's a little bit annoying but uh yeah you'll get used to it 
Um, it doesn't if I turn the shaders off and then back on again or if I catch it just right. And then we've got the uh, balconette area back here too with a quite a cool view of a stadium here which we'll come back to. I think we'll fly back. I want to sort of go across the world and sort of back and forth will be the best way because then you get to see everything uh, a few times. Okay, here we have got the industrial estate uh, with, uh, I'm sure you've all got sort of an industrial estate like this near you where you've got a load of sort of giant buildings connected to each other. They're all identical, but just with different signs of different buildings on there. So you could have like Morrison's and Smith's toy stores and B&Q and Asda or something like that. M&S, I don't know. Over here, we have got, uh, what was this? Oh man, it's a really beautiful looking building. It was apartments. I think I was I was using it as apartments and then like a, a, a not a restaurant but like a hotel-y style sort of food uh, part upstairs. But I really like this building. I really like the sort of brick buildings that we've got around here. It all blends in really nicely to each other. A lot of detail in this building. A lot of sort of strategically placed lights and details in the brickwork. Very, very happy with it. We'll probably finish off with the mountain. We'll go up the mountain that way. It's really hard to sort of do a find a route through this city that covers everything. We don't have too much green space left. This is probably the biggest area of blank space that we've got left. So we're going to have to be careful of what we build there. Because uh, if we need a big building built, uh, there's not really many spaces left for it to go. Ooh, where am I? Okay, so this is the elevated railway that goes around the city in like a ring road loop style following the sort of dual carriageway slash motorway when, uh, over the east side of the city. But this is what we call Rainbow Row. Some very sort of thin and tall residential houses here, residential street. All with a different colour as you go down here. All identical, very cartoonized, very, you know, uh, I can imagine uh, a cartoon on TV, like a kid's show having a having a, a street like this and the main character living in one of them and they don't like the people in the grey house or their best friend is in the greenhouse. Always reminds me of something like that. I can hear the train. Yeah, there's the train. We can drive the train, but it's a little bit glitchy because the textures, whenever you log off, seem to mess up. It's a very horrible mod. I hate the mod. Don't download it. The real RTM, real train mod, don't download it. The trains do work, but it's a horrible Japanese mod. I can't understand a word and it's awful. Uh, this is the town hall. Uh, was it the first building that we built in the city? It might have been the first building. Really cool looking building. I might come back to this and refine it a little bit more. There's some blank spaces of brick here that I see every time that I come past. And now our building skills have increased slightly over time. You know, we're doing 150 episodes on this series. We could certainly do some stuff that we've done like on the uh, apartment building over there. Where we put in like little brick inlets to, to just add a little bit more detail to it all because I like the shape, I love the building, but a little bit more detail would uh, would be very, very helpful, would look really, really good. And then obviously we've got Zono FC, another series uh, or another building that wasn't done on this particular series, it was done on its own separate series, Let's Build a Stadium, where we built uh, an outside or an exterior stadium and then we went through and we built some different centres that we can just literally swap in and out via world edit i've changed it back to the football uh, or soccer stadium with the running track because i think it just looks the nicest when we're going around the city but we can swap out for a monster truck one which i really love basketball ice hockey quidditch and something else i think uh, but yeah really really cool as its own series it wasn't a long series either we actually really cracked through this in about what was it? Well, the stadium itself only took about six episodes. Then all the uh, the centerpieces took longer. Really, really cool. Just goes out into the water there where you've got a sort of pathway to walk around. I can imagine the uh, binoculars on uh, the uh, path part here looking out into the ocean so you can see all of the... Uh, uh, boats out in the distance really really cool we then got some gta 5 grand theft auto 5 style beach houses inspired uh from that game i think these houses were inspired from them first the, the first mission on the game where you have to steal the car from out the front you have to pick one of the two cars to steal from out the front and you approach it from the back side and you sort of sneak down one of the alleyways and jump in the car so we've got sort of i think three 
different buildings and then they copied and pasted and then made into different colors they all look a little bit different as you can see they've got some different roofs some different plants coming down but in general the buildings are sort of the same look really cool sort of uh, way to do it some buildings are a little bit longer than others some have a roof on it some don't uh, so they all they all have a sort of little different part to them I really, really like them. Very cool, very expensive looking buildings. It's not that big, but expensive because of the location. Then we've got a really cool sort of wavy path out the back here with some more palm trees. This beach will be extended. We're going to extend it from here about to here and across to the um, uh, stadium wall. So it's going to extend out because it does get a little bit thin here now uh, because we've built those houses. So we're going to extend that uh, in the future as well okay let's go back this way we'll go through the sort of center of the city here the skyscraper district where the first thing that we see is a giant crane building a uh, an uncompleted skyscraper a little bit more work to do on this i've placed down some vehicles that i want to have sort of strategically placed around here still need to do a base to the crane because it looks very very unstable like this i might extend out the whole dirt sort of construction area out here and make it all into one giant sort of construction area here so we can I don't know have space to work with to be able to place the cement mixer in and the truck full of grass blocks and the uh, the empty one here they're all drivable they're all workable so uh, really cool to use and then the skyscraper itself is really cool the cranes obviously carrying some uh, concrete pillars or some some beams uh, towards the, more towards the bottom the skyscraper is actually sort of more completed they've got all the cladding in the glass isn't quite in yet but it's sort of getting completed around here even got the interior walls all placed down and then we've got the scaffolding going up the building and as you get higher and higher up the floors start to get less completed the uh, um, what do you call it the, the steel beams get less completed really cool I really like this uh, building really fun one to do and then we've got some custom uh, excavators and uh, diggers out the front here, bulldozers and stuff like that. Skyscrapers. Most of these are sort of non-specific, like we don't really have like a use for them. They're either office buildings or residential flats or, or apartments. Really cool looking buildings, so some of these. We do have a gym here, a sort of smaller skyscraper, a little bit more modern, a little bit more newer. Uh, one of the tallest skyscrapers in the city is this one here. Uh, again, built off a image. I don't think anybody sent this in. I think this is an image that I found. Uh, but yeah, there's some little things around the city that I need to fix. Like, uh, why is there a sheep there? Like, I need to fill this in with either plants or putting sort of, a, you know, filling this in with the path blocks so that you don't have a giant grass gap in there there's a few bits like that around the city sort of little finalization sections uh but uh, we'll get around to that eventually uh i like my hand i like being able to point and click uh one of the first skyscrapers that we built or i think the first skyscraper that we built on the city uh, i'm not happy with it i don't like it at the moment i used to like it but uh, i want to set all these windows back and i know i keep saying i will as you can see i have done it around the side here on a few of the buildings uh, or on a few of the windows it makes the building look so much better, as you can see, by just setting them back by one block. Uh, it gives a lot more depth, but the whole building is just a little bit blank. So uh, I need to change that up. I need to do something like that and fix it. The tallest building in the whole city is the bank inspired, again, from Grand Theft Auto 5, 5 the uh, Maze Bank, which is inspired from a real building as well. So it's like an inspired building from an inspired building. A uh, helicopter on top few of these skyscrapers do have uh, helipads on top with helicopters like that one's got a big uh, helicopter on it this one's got a small sort of a uh, bell style helicopter here lightweight one but yeah really like this one uh, it sort of staggers up in different sizes all the way up there's actually a lot more to this skyscraper than it first appears to your eye I really like it though uh, we've got a golden style one here Really like that for more of a more expensive apartments. I'd say they're high end apartments. And then this one I'm going to say is more of an office block uh, style uh, skyscraper. Uh, but yeah, I really love the design in this one. It's a really weird shape. It's like a T shape, and the back of the T ends up being a little bit taller. But there's some really cool sort of design parts to the top of this. Really, really cool. Absolutely love it. The cathedral. Uh, a lot of people's favorite uh, building in the city. Uh, a lot of love for this building when we were creating it. Uh, I actually, it might look a little bit better with the shaders off this building because we don't get all the reflections of all the lights. 
uh, once it sort of all loads in. Really cool. Not as big as my last cathedral that I done on the last city. The last city cathedral was inspired from what was it? I can't remember what the the name of it was, but it was inspired from a real one. It took me weeks to build because that was back on the Xbox, so I had no world that to sort of cheat and speed up my way through it. Um, this one was inspired again from a from a real one, but it was scaled down a little bit to match the scale of our city. Uh, we have a do we have a particular scale on our city here, uh, which is a little bit smaller to what most people build with when they're building cities and stuff. Everything's sort of scaled to the vehicles and the cars and the people, as opposed to the scale of Minecraft itself, like the scale of doors and stuff like that in Minecraft of as default uh so things can be a little bit tricky sometimes getting all the scale right uh, but i think everything's scaled quite well i think everything sort of blends in quite well uh we've got the graveyard at the front and the graveyards going around the side uh, a mausoleum -y section uh out the back side of this uh the east wing was really cool little mausoleums in there there's some chests there's like some um some open coffins in there which is quite cool and then around this side again needs a little bit of completion this is going to be the sort of wedding area where we want some sort of wedding white marquees and some nice sort of arches to be able to walk the bride and groom to be able to walk through and stuff like that so that's what it's going to be out the back end these little buildings are going to be the sort of eating area for those sort of events very cool Ch church slash uh cathedral there this is the more residential part, the more suburban part of the city, uh, where we've got sort of rows of shops here and uh, corner stores, post offices and stuff like that going down there. This is uh, the old British pub that we built not so long ago. I really like this. You've got to have a, a pub at the end of the uh, street, don't you? And then we've got some sort of normal, generic, uh, nice, but sort of nothing special suburban houses here. We've got... Uh, Auto repair center or garage with a wheel and a spanner logo up in the air there. Some nice cars, Dodge Vipers, Nissan Skylines. Uh, one's just fell off the dyno. <laughs> Lamborghini uh, up at the top there. Yeah, we've got the car lifts. We've got spare wheels laying about. We've got the doors for the uh, shutters here. Um, yeah, all sorts. What is that? Uh, like tire pressure filled thing. Toolboxes. Really cool building again. Uh, diagnostics equipment and obviously the waiting area in here with some glitchy furniture and lights because of all of the shaders really cool really like that building still like that to this day really really do uh, more residential houses I'll just do a quick sort of fly through here let's go through on the ground you get a different perspective when you're down uh, at this view as opposed to up high I should do more stuff walking around on the ground because that's the way that you're gonna see it uh, most of the time glitchy garage door there Little bridge going over, and uh, see it goes underneath as well. Really hard bridge to do that was. Zono Wood sign up there as well. You always got to have a Hollywood style sign in a Minecraft city, don't you? Have no choice. And then we've got the primary school inspired from my real life primary school. It's actually a very close replica, to be honest. I was very impressed on how it turned out. Even scale wise, it was very small. There was only like thirty of us there. It was very old, very English, very British style. Um, primary school uh still remember some times there good times and bad times but uh, yeah my old primary school here with a climbing equipment and little running trucks because we had monkey bars we we're only kids so everything was very very small back then more post office style stuff here and corner stores and restaurants and stuff like that muffin shops you know the kind of things that you always find around there still a lot more of those to do this is the bridge that goes over that road over that road and underneath the railway very tricky to get in but there's enough room uh, vehicles even the biggest vehicles can still get underneath all the bridges and over the top without hitting anything so it's very very useful this what was this was this uh, um, an art gallery i think it ended up being uh in real life it was an art gallery so we sort of kept to that as a little bit of an odd location for it i'm pretty sure that's what it was i can't remember 150 episodes guys i can't remember every single building that we put down i, I do quite well to th to remember what i have <laughs> okay please uh but yeah really cool very modern looking building here used a lot of the old carpet and string trick to get them balancing on top of each other really really cool i really like the building not too many passive mobs about either. Okay, we've got the fire station over here with two different types of um, fire engines. Both really, really cool. Even the interior ones in there. The little sort of smaller ones. 
van style ones that I textured myself. I textured those myself, and then we got these modeled ones, which were even better, so I started using those. Okay, you start to see the uh, the motorway section uh, open up here, where we actually split up into three lanes. Really, really cool there. The McDonald's over the other end of the city. I didn't want to place it too close to the KFC. That would cause too much competition. So we've got some fast food over this side of the city as well. Really cool. Didn't build this too long ago. I uh, got the McDonald's logos in there. You know, all the copyright stuff. Even got some disabled car parking spaces. They're a little bit glitchy because of the shaders. But they look pretty cool in there, don't they? Very, very nice. Uh, we go over to another apartment style. We have to have a lot of apartments because the city isn't that big. The city itself might look big as I'm going around here, but actually when you're traveling through it, and if you're especially driving a vehicle, it's not really that big. And what I want to do eventually is make this into a service so people can sort of play and sort of have a lifestyle on here and get a job and at, at the McDonald's or the KFC or work on the pier games and, and stuff like that, be able to come home and... Uh, buy an apartment and be able to live in the apartment. I've got a guy working on it, but I haven't spoken to him for a long time, so I might have to rethink on how exactly I'm going to do it all. Uh, so I'm going to need a lot of apartment spaces so people can can buy them and 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 live in them. Really, really cool. So many cool ideas. I don't know if it'll ever come to fruition, uh, but I really, really hope it does. So yeah, Ooh, hello, another sort of modern style. Uh, Different building because the black is the only building that actually has black in it. Uh, so I tried to sort of keep it to a minimum, but I did want to try and experiment using colors that I don't really use quite as often. And I think the orange goes really well with it. I'm actually quite happy with it. CIA building. Uh, it was a mistake. It wasn't actually meant to be CIA or the original building wasn't CIA. I misread it as CIA. But I think it's a pretty cool CIA style building, isn't it? You know forensic investigation and stuff like that you know everything all secret stuff's going on in there i think it'd be really really cool and then we've got again one of my favorite buildings uh in recent times uh because it went through a few different changes uh through the progression of, of it being built uh, it's sort of a marina and once we built it we then sort of figured out that hey if we extend out the uh, river here we can actually get a little bay dock at the back here where you know some different style of boats can all be st stored and really really cool needs some finishing off especially sort of this blank space i want to sort of brighten it up a little bit i want to make it a little bit more of a a, a, a beautiful place to be add some nice trees or something in that blank space there some pink i really want to use the color pink around here i might get some cherry trees build some uh, custom cherry trees or something around here because the pink will obviously really brighten it up and stuff like that use a lot more green as well some more leaves and stuff like that to um make it just a little bit more really hard to describe but yeah really like the the whole building really cool diagonal section uh really fun to build as well very very happy this is probably one of my proudest parts that i done off camera before the series even started if you haven't seen episode one of the series if you go and watch it you'll, you'll notice that all of the roadways the motorway all of the junctions all of the traffic lights all of the paths all of the double yellow lines everything like that was already built prior to the series starting i went through i spent about two or three weeks going through building everything that was why the last series, the last City series back on Xbox 360, ended because I got burnt out from building roads. Roads were horrible to build back on uh, Xbox because you literally have to build every block by hand. Here on PC, though, I can copy and paste a section of road, and it's so much quicker, a lot more fun. Uh, well, maybe not fun. Building roads is never fun. Um, but it was just a lot quicker, so I didn't get quite as burnt out. You know, on, on the Xbox, when it came to building a new building, I had to build an extra piece of road, and it got awful, which is why it stopped. So I thought, on this one, if I build all of the roads first, I'm less likely to get burnt out, because I don't have to, like, spend hours between episodes just building road sections, so we can then move on to the next episode. Uh, but it was a really proud part, because this is like a whole junction system, uh, slip roads and joining down. It was tricky to build, but I really like it with the motorway signs above it. Really, really cool. Okay, factory section. This is the more industrial part now of the city. We've gone through the beach area, the suburban area, the skyscraper area. Um, now we're on to the industrial area, the smoke and plumes, the money maker of the city. So we've got a couple of different factories here. 
plumes out of the top of pollution, probably. <laughs> uh, doors and stuff like this. I don't know why, it always reminds me of the minions. This this building always reminds me of minions. I have no idea why it makes no reference to the minions whatsoever. It just seems to remind me of it. I don't know why. And then another one here. This is the old ice cream factory. We've got the ice cream vans out the front here as well. Not just ice creams. On, on the vans. I love how all the vehicle, every vehicle pretty much on this um, uh, world is usable apart from the like custom um, ships and diggers and stuff that I've built but all the sort of vehicles like this are completely usable. Really really cool. Then we've got the cargo area which is built from the uh, Call of Duty map cargo uh, a little bit more scaled down version of the call of duty version map uh, but using sort of the same the same principles the same building locations uh, obviously the same main three-dimensional cool crane in the middle here uh, there are still the sort of uh, the same routes that you can take through this uh version of the cargo map as you could in the real call of duty version uh, so yeah it's just sort of very inspired uh, from it even the building at the back that you couldn't really access at, uh, you know, where Team A or whatever spawned at. But yeah, really, really cool. Really, really like this. Crates and barrels around everywhere. Low loaders, empty ones, uh, ones with crates on the back. I think there are quite a few, yeah. So they got like this, that green one is meant to be like that green crate on it. We've got the grey one, that's an empty one that hasn't got a crate on, but if he drives underneath here, that crate will be able to come down and sort of land on the back of it, of the vehicle to be able to move them around. Really, really cool. Really, really like it. The big cargo crane at the back here, unloading them off and, uh, you know, that'll slide them down, slide them underneath onto a truck. The truck can then drive it over to here. The crane will then pick it up and put it down where it needs to be. Really, really cool. Even got little forklifts. These forklifts are technically alive. They are actually like animals, I think. They're actually mobs. Uh, it was a mod that I installed, but I'm pretty sure they, I think they make a cow noise as well or something, which is a little bit scary. Yeah, he sort of tracks me. But you can drive them. They're a little bit quick and a little bit weird, but yeah, you can drive <laughs> Little touches like that around the city. I absolutely love. This is the cargo ship itself. A uh, really easy build, actually. Uh, I thought it was going to be a lot more difficult than it was. Um, but yeah, got the big old sort of bulk heads and stuff at the back here. Really cool. Really, really nice build. Absolutely very happy with it. And I am happy as well with the tugboat around the side here. This is sort of an afterthought, an addition to the uh, cargo uh, port. This game was a, an extra series. This was Let's Build a Cargo Port. If you want to watch it itself, uh, it wasn't in the City series. Uh, so we technically, I suppose, if we added up all of the different series that we've done on this world, there's probably about 300 or so episodes close to, 250, 300 episodes worth of work on this world. But yeah, little uh, little tugboat as well on the front here with the tyres. Really, really cool. Cruise ship, we'll have a quick look at as well. This again was another series done uh, separately, not as uh, the City series itself. This was Let's Build a Cruise Ship. Uh, so what we've done, we've done, let's build a private island, let's build a cruise ship, let's build a cargo port, let's build a stadium, let's build a Alcatraz style prison, which we haven't actually got to yet. Any other ones? So that's like five or six different series, including Let's Build a City on this world. Really weird to think about it like that. But yeah, this cargo ship actually has a full interior. It has all of the floors, all of the rooms, uh, a show ground area at the bottom where, you know, where shows can be performed, canteens, cafeterias, um, a shopping plaza, which is like a replica of an outside area. Obviously, at the top here, we've got uh, tennis courts and swimming pools and everything. Really cool. Huge cargo ship. I wanted to be one of those really, really big ones. People keep saying that this cruise ship is, is way too big. It's unrealistically big, big. Believe me, it's not. There are cruise ships in real life which are bigger than this cruise ship in comparison to this island. They are huge. Google them. You'll be, it'll blow your mind, I swear. It'll blow your mind. They're absolutely massive. Uh, when we see the overviewer version of the world at the end of the episode, you'll see how monstrously big that thing is. But believe me, it's nowhere near as big as real-life cruise ships, some of the real-life cruise ships anyway. 
Oh my god, we're already over half an hour long. Told you it was going to be a long episode. We've got a little bit of a... Uh, the poorer area. I haven't really done too much on this, but it's a bit more of a, a ghetto area, if you like. We're going to do some uh, smaller... Think Again, think of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. You know the area where... Um, you sort of start at, you know, I can't remember, it's going to be really annoying that you, you guys are going to go crazy that I can't remember the name of it. But you know, the, the housing area with the, the sort of donut roundabout in the middle and all the houses around the outside where CJ lives. I can't remember what the actual close is called. Um, but that's the sort of style houses that I want. Smaller, maybe a little bit run down. We've got the skate park and the basketball courts here. You know, uh, underneath the bridges where sort of homeless people will... Um, congregate and sort of live so we're gonna get some graffiti maybe written underneath the uh the pillars of the walls here it's a little bit dark a little bit more out of the way of the city you know an area where people don't quite go to as much uh that's sort of the plan with this area but uh just need to get some sort of small rundown buildings built around here uh this is a huge bridge the motorway bridge that sort of wraps around this section of the world Really cool. I absolutely love this bridge. I love both bridges, but they really do stand out like a miniature Golden Gate Bridge style thing. And then moving on this way, we get to the hospital. So we've got all three major emergency services. The police station uh, that we saw very early on in the episode. The uh, fire station, which we saw just a moment ago. And then the hospital here. We've got, uh, I think at the moment, it's a lifeguard helicopter on top. But we will eventually uh, texture up our own... Uh, like emergency response helicopter for the uh, hospital here. Yeah, we do have ambulances as well, but I removed them because when this series was on my old computer, having hundreds and hundreds and thousands of vehicles about everywhere, I had vehicles like in all of the car parking spots, or most of the car parking spots, it was causing a little bit of lag, so I had to remove them all. But since I've had my new computer, so we don't really get problems with, with um, stuttering all the time. I get a little freeze lock every now and again that you see in, in episodes, but I think that's just because of everything that's going on at the time but yeah really cool little hospital here this was inspired off multiple different buildings this was like three or four hospitals combined into one taking aspects in certain areas of the hospital pictures that we liked and combining them all together really cool we then got the racetrack Needs a little bit of finishing. Obviously, we've got a sort of just carved out road section that goes underneath the track here to get into the center part. Uh, so it needs to be dressed up a little bit. But the majority of it is done. We've got the race cars in the pits here. As you can see, we've got like little F1 uh, cars, which again, you can drive and have actually really good handling, unlike most of the cars in the, uh, in the city itself. But we can actually get around this track at quite a fast speed. It does require you to brake and turn. So it's not like you can just go flat out all of the way around. So it works really well for that pit lane, commentators, booths, spectators, podiums, uh, truck parking for the lorries to take the F1 cars away and stuff like that. There's the ambulances. We've got some ambulances over here and the fire station. Um, the uh, I was going to say bunkers then, but sand traps, bunkers. It's not golf. Uh, but yeah, really cool. Little ambulances out the back here too. Very, very nice. I really, really like this. Uh, oh, yeah. Was this its own series? No, this wasn't its own series, was it? it was, there wasn't a Let's Build a Racetrack series. No, this was built in the city world, in, in the city series itself. Over on the right-hand side of the island, we've got the uh, prison. Let's Build an Alcatraz-style prison series. There's another little frame lock there, you see? Doesn't happen all that often. But, yeah, this was its own series here. Inspired, obviously, heavily off Alcatraz. Uh, really cool, really cool uh, build this was. A lot of uh, thought went into uh, the green, the, you know, make texturing up the, the outside here so it wasn't just blank, plain grass. A lot of thought went into it, placing down all of the sort of overgrown leaves. It's not quite as maintained on this side because who would maintain it? Why would they care if it didn't look pretty? At the end of the day, it's a prison. It's one of the hardest prisons or at the time. It was one of the hardest prisons to escape in the world, if not the hardest one. Uh, some watchtowers where the snipers sit. Um, we've got the sort of reception area where they all get booked in. All the offs and, and, and important paperwork stuff is all sorted out. All the workers mostly are there. We've got... Um, workstation where the prisoners have to work usually like having number plates being pressed and stuff like that and then we've got dog kennels and storage areas and everything like that the old water tower from the old alcatraz style uh or from the old alcatraz island as well so prison is fully fitted out uh with an interior as well 
with safety doors and armories and bulletproof vests and helmets, handcuffs, a uh, little staff room back here. And then here's the armory with weapons and ammo, binoculars, guns, medical equipment, ammo boxes. All of that can be used as well. Coca-Cola machine. <laughs> it still works. Uh, it said Apple, but it was Coke, okay? It was just retextured Apple. Uh, and then on the inside here, look at that. Bunk bed ones. And your single cell ones. Very dull and dreary, you know. Uh, even got the canteen. It's canteen on the second floor. I can't remember. Yeah, canteen's here on the second floor. Yeah, where you pick up your meal, you slide your tray along, you get your gloop. <laughs> You've got showers as well, working showers and stuff on each floor. Very cool. Very fun series to do, this was. Uh, where's the way out? Over here. Yeah, I love it. I love it. It's been a while since I've done a really good world tour. I'm actually enjoying this world tour more than episode 100's world tour. Episode 100's world tour, I rushed around a little bit and I really shouldn't have. I don't care how long this episode takes. We're just going to keep going. It might be an hour long episode or something. 50 minute hour long episode. I don't even care. We've got some weights and some um, uh, gym machines out the back here as well to keep them fit. Going up the mountain now. We'll finish up with the mountain here. Uh... I might show you the NPC areas because I know there's going to be quite a fair few of you that wouldn't have seen them at all. Uh, so we should just quickly, uh, I'll just show you it. I won't run you through it too much, go into too much detail, but I'll show you the uh, the characters at least, the the NPCs that I've got about. They're hidden in the world. Uh, we've got uh, some wind turbines here. The way that the city gets its power, obviously we are an island and there's no nuclear power plants or coal power plants or anything like that here yet. So uh, we're running off wind power. Uh, that's not meant to be black. That's a lighting glitch. The snow mountain with a ski lift going all the way up. Uh, we've got a little log cabin up here. little log cabin hidden away. Very warm colours. Very warm feeling to it. Some wood storage here. Oh, it does have an interior. A little interior as well. Some hunting rifles and some snipers for the deers and all that kind of stuff. A little fire burning in the uh, fireplace. A little stove. Very warm. Always makes me feel warm when I go inside there, especially knowing that there's all snow outside. And then we've got the ski ramps. Uh, this all the ski, like, uh, what do you call them? Roots going down the mountain here. We do have a snowmobile vehicle that we should, probably should place down in a couple of spots. Snowmobile. There you go. Again, it's like the forklift. They're technically alive, so they sort of turn around. But they are drivable. They are very quick. Ski lift going down the mountain there. Uh, into the, uh, let's go, yeah, we can do the, no, let's go down here first. We'll just do the more expensive houses. This is sort of your, your LA style houses, a little bit more modern, uh, a little bit more expensive. You know, you're not quite on Captain Sparkle's house in real life scale, uh, but they're, you know, very modern ones. We've got the residential suburban ones down the bottom of the mountain. And as you get sort of a little bit further up, they get a little bit more expensive, a little bit more modern. You know, you sort of back cave style garages, swimming pools on the mezzanine floors and very expensive looking uh, fences and, 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 and walls and stuff like that. Really, really cool. Then we'll move up to the uh, airport here. This little tunnel goes up to the ski lift. Again, still needs a little bit of work on it, but the road is there. And the airport itself, all of these planes are flyable. I mean, how sick is that? Oh, I landed that there, didn't I? I landed that there, I think, on episode 100. I think that was the last world tour. I finished off by landing that there. But we've got little planes again, which are flyable. Little sea planes that you can land on water in the hangars. We've got these big flat planes, which are awful to fly, but you can fly them. They fly, they, well, they fly quite well. They're just difficult to land uh, over here. We've got the taxiways, all the carways, some emergency vehicles by the, um, what are they called? Not command center. I can't remember. Whenever you gotta understand, guys, if you're watching something, you'll know the name of everything. If you're recording something, you're trying to think of so many things at the same time that things just go out of your mind. As soon as I stop recording this episode, I will instantly remember what that thing is called. I guarantee you. <laughs> but just while recording, everything goes wrong. Then we've got the terminal over here by a nice big car park because again. We're an island. There's no roadway into the system. The only way that you can access this is via the, either the cruise ship, uh, the cargo port, which isn't really a way into the city, the uh, the marina, if you've got your own boat, or the airport, which is the way that most people are going to come. So we're going to have to have a big airport here. And the way only 
way off the island, obviously the airport as well. So a really cool little miniature plane um, statue in the middle there. I really, really like that. I've always liked this little statue. It's like the smallest plane that you can do in Minecraft. Really like that. Some no parking zones and some taxiways, some bus lanes, you know, so they get a little priority over everything else. Your way into the airport as well and the runway. Really cool there, nice and big. Not technically long enough for a like real runway in comparison, uh, but for Minecraft, it's plenty enough room to land and take off on in those planes, which works really well. A lot of plane space up here for some more expensive looking houses and stuff like that up here. And then we move into the final part, which is just an observatory. But eventually, some terraforming will need to be done. It'll be the university. At first, it was just a, a, literally just an observatory. But we thought, ah, it's going to be a cracking plot spot for uh, a whole a whole university we'll have to take away this part of the mountain here we'll have to sort of level this area to be nice and flat get some uh, some more buildings and using the same color styling the whole brick quartz and stands and, and sandstone color palette and build some more buildings around here make it into a, a little bit more of an, an of an of an area instead of just a building sitting on top but yeah really cool little little observatory on the top there but imagine if it was nice and big some l shape and some t shaped buildings around there would be absolutely fantastic uh, around the back of the mountain there is nothing i will i do want to put a bunch of trees on here i need to work out how the tree brush works just so i can click a load of trees on here because it would look fantastic with some spruce trees and some oak trees with some birch trees absolutely covering the back side of this mountain as we're never going to really build anything on there it's the back side of a mountain i don't really want to do anything with it i might a lot of you want me to build uh, or do a series on a superhero base. Uh, I might do it in the mountains. We could have on the back side a little Easter egg opening. And you sort of can fly through it Batman style. Shum, or I don't know, some superhero style. Fly through it and bang, you open up into this huge superhero secret base in the middle of the mountain underneath the airport or something like that. Be really cool. It's on my ideas for series list. Uh, so uh, that would be pretty cool to have on the back side of the island anyway let's teleport into our secret npc base here and npc let's try and reset these uh nope delete uh i need a specific tool uh is it the cloner Oops, obviously not. Resettle. Free, no, resettle and freeze. Resettle, freeze. There we go. Uh, so it just puts it in an order that makes sense to me. Let's turn the shaders off here. We're finished with the shaders now. Uh, we've got a firefighter uh, here. We've got hit. Hopefully there'll be no fires there. You can chat to them all. They'll talk to you. Paramedics. If we, there's two of them there. Sort of glitched into each other. If we talk to him, we actually have currency in the in the world. We've got golden coins, iron coins, and bronze coins. And ten bronze coins equals a silver coin, and ten silver coins equals a gold coin, something like that. So you can buy medical kits off paramedics, and they'll help you. Uh, again, he chats you too. We have criminals, so we have sort of the thug type people. They're holding guns and knives and AK 74s and stuff. Uh, it's really cool. We don't have the police officers down here because the police officers are actually in the world at the moment. They are only at the police station. Uh, but the police officers up there, as you saw earlier on, actually wander around. They can wander within a certain range of the police stations, those ones that are up there. And if they actually see a criminal, one of these uh, factions, uh, that each one, each different color is a different faction, you see, technically in the game. Uh, if they actually meet, they'll actually have a gunfight and they'll actually shoot bullets from their guns from each other. If they have a, uh, a melee weapon, they'll actually have to go up and, and actually physically fight them. And uh, really, really cool. They'll drop things when they die. So if I can enter him, uh, we can see, look, the drop chances for everything. We've got drops for the money. We've got chances for ammo and guns to drop from each of them. Uh, there's a lot of detail in these, uh, and this was done uh, all prior to the series even starting. Not many people know about this at all, uh, but eventually we'll be able to place down hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these, uh, all with different textures. You know, I've just selected some sort of textures here to get a little bit of variance. We'll have to have a whole load of them at the top there, and it'll be a, actually a living world if criminals 
get in contact with the police officers. They'll start fighting and shooting each other. If, uh, can I like stop him from doing that, please? Nope. Nope. Uh, nope. I can't do it anymore. I don't know. You? No. Cancel. Whatever. They're, they're going to be shaking about for a bit. We've got civilians. Again, nothing too much going on with these. They'll just sort of chat to you. He's getting hungry. He said hey to me. He says, do I know you? And they'll all, you know, you can click on them and they'll just say random stuff more and more. So really, really cool with them. Uh, and if we enter them, they've obviously got their own drop chances. Drop chance to drop their mobile phone and food and all kinds of stuff as well as money. And then we've got sort of uh, uh, other stuff. Weapons traders. We don't actually have an ammunition in Grand Theft Auto. what, you know, the gun shops. Well, we don't have a gun store in the city yet. That's one of the ones that we need to build with a gun range inside and stuff like that. But he will buy and sell uh, guns off you. We could do it like this, can't we? Uh, he will, uh, you can buy all guns and ammo and grenades, smoke grenades, molotovs. <laughs> There's a lot of detail that not... Hardly anybody knows about this. Anybody that watches these series like has no idea that we can do all of this in this world. We've got Pawnbroker where you can sell stuff at the moment. There's only mobile phone, but you'll be able to buy and sell things from him. Coin exchange if you want to upgrade or downgrade your currency to buy certain things. Uh, in addition to the gun trader, we can put silencers on any of the guns. Red dot scopes, um, like little cyber style scopes. Sniper style scopes, riot shields, body armor. You know, your, your typical Grand Theft Auto style stuff in there. Uh, and you can literally modify like any weapon. You can put silencers on the assault rifles and all that kind of stuff. Food vendor, you can buy a load of food. You've got KFC, you've got your McDonald's. See, this is with the proper names now. Look, cola, sandwich, chocolate, fries, KFC burgers. Uh, and then we've got the KFC worker. Typically just Coke and KFC. So uh, I think, uh, yeah, you'll get, if you want one cola, it's one bronze coin. If you want 32, it's three gold coins, uh, three iron coins, two bronze coins. It's all, there's a whole economy that I worked out. Should all still be fine, but yeah. Pretty cool. I really like it. And, and when you put them out there, it, it's just nuts. In fact, I could probably put down a policeman. And then unfreeze all of the civilians. How do I unfreeze them now? Unfreeze. And those, they will attack each other. They should do, at least. I've embarrassed myself now. Ah, no, I know what it is. I know what it is. I don't have the factions. Uh, AI, no. Advanced factions. Criminal global factions. Criminal hostile factions police oh i can't remember i i need to fix it and figure it out but they shoot each other you trust me let's jump into overview to finish off the episode here it's gonna be an hour long episode but it was worth it uh let me jump into the overview version to finish off with haha -ha, i'm up in this corner now so this is what the city looks like in the overview program it's a little bit complicated of a program to use which is why i've never done a tutorial or really spoken about how to do it properly yet there are some tutorials on youtube which is how i learned so if you want to do it you can download the overview program and, and do this for yourself on any of your worlds that you've got on the computer. Obviously, it won't work on console stuff unless you convert them to PC first. Anyway, this is what it looks like. Uh, so, obviously, we've got where we started off here with the cinema and the um, uh, supermarket mine mart. And you guys see where we are, the private island, the crane, the stadium. It looks absolutely fantastic, doesn't it? You can see really how big the cruise ship is now. It's huge, isn't it? Cargo port, the island off the east side here. Airport up the top. Really, really cool. And check out how little green space we've sort of got left. Uh, we don't have hardly any green space left in the center portion here where all the skyscrapers are. I want to get skyscrapers in this area, I think, as well. So we really sort of fit it out. And I might do them in this section as well, right there. See that little green spot there? We might get them in there to really fill out the skyscraper section, really get some height to the world. This is the biggest sort of spare space that we were saying about earlier on. Got some spots down here for some sort of smaller buildings. But a lot of it is uh, is all tarmac concrete jungle, you know, proper city style. We've got the beach going around here. This is what I'm talking about with the beach getting a little bit thin. We just need to expand this beach to sort of run down here, make the beach a little bit bigger, and then do what we've done here with the rocks and the... Um, uh, 
bar, uh, beach towels and, and watch towels and stuff like that. Extend that down there because obviously we've only done it around the corner here where the beach is completed. Race track looks really, really cool though, huh? Really, really cool. If you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, I thank you so much. If you're still here after like an hour of this City World Tour, then hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. This is a really special episode. I wish it, uh, the episode 100 was as long as this, because obviously that was quite a milestone. But uh, yeah, episode 150, what a great episode.